Well, guys, I'm going to try to bypass this iPhone 7. As you can see, it, don't, it doesn't have a um, Mi ID. What we have is the serial number and the IMEI number, and we don't have the Mi ID. And supposed to be, this is supported for a GSM bypass, which is you can bypass it, and um, still the SIM card is working. As you can see, it's also activation lock. And for this video, I will gonna try. I would start by um, jailbreaking this device. So as you can see here in the check rate, iPhone 7 Plus GSM is supported, but I started iPhone 7 is not. So I'm going to click options and um, allow untested iOS iPad device and go back and start jailbreaking this device. Click next and it will automatically boot on um, recovery mode and I'll just wait for a minute until we go to the process of jailbreaking this device okay now we're in a recovery mode next thing to do is to boot it on um, DFU mode okay as you can see release the power button Keep holding the volume down, and that should do the trick. We are now in DFU mode, and it is now inserting the check ring, I guess, and it's booting here in our check ring. Anyway, guys, I'm using a Hackintosh High Sierra for the. I prefer this than using a bootable drive. It is more stable and uh, less errors. As you can see, and I will go into boot on my Windows computer. Sorry guys, I'm not very good in English, but I'm trying to explain this in English because, you know, a lot of people is um, requesting to speak in this language because some people who are watching my videos are not actually Filipinos, but um, foreigners. Foreigners. <laughs> So as you can see, I have a dual boot PC, one for Mac and one for my Windows 10. Look how fast it is. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, my screen. And the uh, application that I will going to use is this Storm Activator 1.0.4. Yeah, there it is. For that, I'm going to register my device on their um, server so that we can use this um, method. And I will go back shortly after I pay for it. Okay, guys, so I'm making the payment right now for the paid um, bypass. Cost $15. I'm going to pay this now. Okay, so payment has been sent to him. Okay, and then now I'm going to verify uh, that I already sent this message from him. Twitter, and I will send this. One. Done. Actually guys, this is the first try, so I am hoping that this one is not a scammer. Because if he is, I could buy 800 pesos actually. So guys, this is not a cheap bypass, it costs 800 pesos. Okay, so I will be back after everything is fine. Okay right, guys, so I have taken a notification that your serial number has been registered successfully and just connect your device to computer and run the tool. Click on activate GSM signal. So that's what we are going to do now. So I'm going to device sa PC. Tagalog yun, ha? 
I will going to open the storm activator. Hindi na ako mag screen record. This is for just a reference. Okay, so checking SSH ready. So may kita nyo pag hindi yan registered, dalabas yan unregistered. So meaning to say, registered na tayo. Okay, so i-click natin yung active GSM with signal. And as you can see, it is now activating. Sana maging ayos yun. So, yan. Activating pa rin siya. At makikita nyo sa device, ito ay nagbubut. nag nag respring siya. It is now respringing a few times. And we hope for the best. Okay, so a notification has um, pop up on my screen which is saying activated. Remember, you cannot update or restore. If you do that, activation will be lost. If you lost it, you need to pay again. You only do it again the same. So as you can see, bawal daw natin yung reset. So we are right now at the home screen and maybe we can already and unplug it from our computer. We are here at the hello screen. Uh, so let's try. Okay, so let's try to use the touch ID. Okay, that's your view. So as you can see, I'm not making any skip of this video. Okay, we are now... Okay, I don't care about that. Okay, Shara, we are now right here in our home screen. And so when clicking settings, general, about phone, oh, so we are here, all the details, your number, capacity available, okay. Wi-Fi address, IMEI number, modem firmware. So it is stated there that this is supported a SIM card. So I will going to try to insert a SIM card here and hopefully it will work. Wait a minute, I just get a working SIM card. Okay guys, so I have insert, inserted a SIM card right here. Okay, as you can see, we already have a signal. Globe 3G. So, okay, because 3G, why 3G? Because the SIM card I inserted, I inserted here is a 3G SIM card. I don't have an access to an LTE and then I don't want to remove my personal SIM card to insert in here. But as you can see, SIM card is working and um, okay, I just want to try to call something. One nine nine one one maybe? Or oh, one seven seven. Or nine one one maybe. Oh my goodness, 911 is... So as you can see guys, the SIM card is working. Okay, I don't remember the number of the SIM card, but... SIM card is working, data is working, everything is working right here, right now. I don't know what... Uh, the network doesn't show something, but... It is working. So I try to open the data. Cellular data is open. So we it's working in 3G because the SIM card is inserted here is just a 3G. So our network selection is globetelecom.ph. So that's it, guys. This is a great bypass, you know, and uh, I will try to reboot the device. 
and let's see if this is fully untethered. Let's count for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And let's turn it on again. And let's see if we still activate it after we reboot it. Okay, so just like just like that, guys. And let's see if my um, touch ID is working here. My touch ID is really working here. SIM card is already working here. Everything is working without limitations. And so I think this is a very good bypass, even though this is a paid one. But um, for its price, it is really amazing. So guys, that's it for the video. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching this. I just made this video just for a re reference. So in case uh, if you want to do it yourself, you can do it. And I can testify and I can attest you that Storm Bypass is a legit one. Thanks for watching. God bless everyone.